uh, that said, we're going to move to the next talk, which is uh, Dr. Stefanescu. And uh, we're going to hear about studies concerning DDW use for deuterium depletion in animal organisms and for synthesis of new naphthoquinonic anti-tumoral compounds. Hello. Actually, Tamayan. First of all, I would like to thank to our guest and especially to Mr. Shamlai for starting this crusade of deuterium depletions. Um, Mr. Shamlai and he, it's an old partner of my institute and at uh, his request, uh, we started with a small experimental deuterium depletion installation and now we have a large one which can produce for commercial use Furthermore, this installation now it's transferred throughout the technological transfer process to a private uh, company, Macrosystem. Here, here it is. So, I will uh, like to sp I would like to speak um, about you different studies. Uh, until now, we saw a lot of various effect of deuterium depleted water on various organisms. Now I would like to show you how deeper can go this depletion in the first study and in the second part of my speech I will show you how can be this water used for synthesis of new anti-tumoral compounds. When I say new, I'm not referring only at the fact that uh, new s this new compounds are uh, new because they are depleted, but they are new because they are chemically new, new structures. I have to mention that both studies were uh, carried out on governmental funds on two different projects. The first one, it is started, uh, started in 2001 and finished, I believe, in 2006. The second uh, one started in 2007, and it is underwriting. It, this is the last year of the project, so until December, we have to finish this study. So, deuterium depletion studies on laboratory and farm animal is referring at deuterium concentration decretion in animal's body using DDE, which is now a commercial product of uh, microsystem, Clarivia, uh, at uh, uh, the level of 25 ppm. The laboratory animals taken in study were mammals, outbreed uh, whistler rats, and farm animals, birds, uh, chickens, playmouth rock, uh, white variety. Um, we use on the first set of experiments um, healthy whistler rats, 120 grams, grams each, raised it and maintained it for 60 days with standard food and drinking water. The witness load, uh, drinking water at uh, 144 uh, ppm, and uh, experimental rods with uh, two types of deuterium depleted water, 30 ppm and 60 ppm. Uh, collected biological samples were uh, were. Uh, that we use for uh, mass, mass spectrometry determination were, uh, uh, was uh, blood, cast liquid sample, and uh, liver and muscle as solid sample. Our results in the right side of the graphic, you sh uh, it showed the witness loads per uh, individual and uh, blood uh, and uh, sample type, blood, liver, and muscle. We see that at uh, 144 ppm deuterium in water, uh, it is uh, a, um, we have a slow bioaccumulation process, uh, which reach until uh, 
uh, 149.35 uh, ppm. Uh, after 60 days of administration of the deuterium depleted water on uh, 60 and 30 ppm, uh, the concentration of the deuterium uh, decrease. You, we can see here in the graphic uh, uh, the distribution of the deuterium in various uh, sample. Blood, uh, uh, first two. In blood, seconds, two. Uh, liver, three, four, five. Liver, okay. And also at 33, at 30 ppm, uh, we have a uh, each the deuterium decreases even more. Uh, on the other hand, at chickens, we we, uh, we started with uh, one day chicken old, uh, where was uh, there was uh, raised and maintained for 80 days with standard food and drink it water the witness lot and experimental lot, uh, lot also with 30 ppm and 60 ppm deuterium depleted water. Uh, this time uh, the biological sample were, uh, were blood, liquid sample, and three types of solid samples, liver, muscle, and kidneys. Uh, 